Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a one shot. It's Carnage Mind Bomb number one. Well, it's only a one shot. Uh, and this is a Spider Man special event. Now, I'm not sure what's special about it, but you know, it has that shiny cover, which is pretty cool uh, as well. So, this was in the time that I picked up everything. <laughs> and I was, um, you know, it's this drawn by Kyle Hotz. Um, I'm, I'm one of those guys that never mind uh, how do you say i never appreciated some some artist and now that i'm older i think oh man this this art is so great so we're gonna do a review if you can call it that so we start here because this is in ravencroft asylum and this whole book reminds me a little bit of joker being in an asylum but then dialed up to 11 um to a certain degree what well, not more in this but in the next book because this is the follow-up which is also in one shot uh, i'm going to explain this part a little bit more later uh, but we're going to dive in uh, in this book so um we see carnage right he is crazy he is uh, laughing and he, uh, taunting he's here i don't know who's locked him up maybe because of a fight with spider-man or venom i don't know but it seems that ravencroft has a visitor right and um, and he needs to be reported to Dr. Kafka. Now, Jameson here is the son of Jonah J. Jameson, called John Jameson, which makes it a little bit more confusing. So maybe you know John Jameson because he went to the moon, he found the red, I forgot, Bloodstone, and he became Manwolf, if I'm correct. Um, although we don't see him transform into man wolf in this issue right but he is still man wolf um so kafka comes in he says that'll be matthew kurtz john let him in um so he goes in you know and you know dr kafka you're supposed to inform me of visit over in advance i know john um uh, maybe i was just hoping he wouldn't come i should have known better kurtz always turns up when there is horrors involved Kurtz always shows up. All right. So he goes in and um, Kurtz says that it's uh, very quiet for an insane asylum, right? And um, But he likes it. He likes it a lot. He says, it's like walking through some terrible garrulity. Kurtz admires the quality of the soundproofing. Kurtz likes it here. Uh, but then there's some kind of a breakout. And he says, this guy's... Drugs have been worn off. Um, and he says, permission to arm at non-lethal granted. At non-lethal state granted. So this guy breaks out and they say, non-lethal. And he says that in a certain way. Now, because why? Oops, going to a little bit, a little bit too fast here. So he shoots all the darts at this guy's face. And he keeps shooting and he says, non-lethal. He says, you killed five children. And he says, non-lethal. <laughs> so Kurtz is just sweating the staff here Kurtz observes has definitely possibilities his kind of bedside manner but note how the management of this facility reacts to possible escapes most educational so he's a crazy dude as well I guess Mr. Kurtz this way please my this room is very secure isn't it could that be because this facility's director is in it couldn't say, uh, Mr. Kurtz. Matthew, thank you for coming. And uh, so she opens up. Kafka, this man's with military intelligence. I know, I know, but I failed with Cassidy. In all this time, I haven't made the slightest dent in the psycho uh, psychopathy. I want to say psychology, but okay, different. I had to do something, even call in a master like you, Matthew, or else Carnage wins. I taught her, you know. Since then, of course, my adventures in psychiatry have taken me down a different path. How interesting, he says. It has been interesting, but you do one lobotomy without anesthesia, you've done them all. <laughs> okay. And say, what did you say? Just, but I make sure you were listening. Now, I can talk about my work, of course, not to you anyway. This is the place, isn't it? How kind of you to escort me here. Best I view him as soon as possible. Let the dog see the rabbit and all that. Cells open. 
I hope he eats you, you blasted spook. Thank you, dear boy, thank you. Can hear your thing with these earpieces in. Well, off I go. Hello, I am your new therapist. So, Carnage says, hey, dinner is Brent brought in. And then we see, of course, Kyle's hot, strongest, one of his strongest um, things he can do with art. He can do gorgeous, gruesome art, you know, like this. And um, I never imagined Cassidy would smell so bad. Cassidy stinks of rotten meat. Cassidy has a cannibal's breath. Slaughterhouse sweat. <laughs> okay, so uh, Cassidy comes in, right? And he's threatening all, wants to eat him, right? But then this guy's taking some out of his bag. And then there's a sound. And Cassidy is going all, well, sp he's spasming all and, uh, and all that stuff. And um, I put him in a cell. What is that appalling noise? Turn the sound down. Kurtz pulled a gun on Cassidy, and the next thing I know, we're being deft. Definite. It's a sono pistol. He's hosing Cassidy down with a mix of extremely low frequency and ultra high pitched noise. The alien symbiote around Cassidy is vulnerable to it, like venom. That's why the earphones. All right. So, and then he is putting something out of his bag. So he talks to Kafka and says, Hey, you're seeing this, right? This is an overdose of vitamin C. In this quantity, vitamin C alters brain chemistry. Cassidy's neural link with the symbiote is naturally dependent on brain chemistry. As you can see, an altered brain chemistry affects the link from the worse, for the worse. And then he injects them with something else, is right? More like, um, I don't know, make him more suggestible. And now he's all foaming from the mouth. And then he sits down and he says, Cletus, my name is Mr. Kurtz. Tell me about yourself. He's a lunatic. This is torture. Hold on a minute. So, Cletus talks about who he was as, as a young boy and what basically happened to him. Well, as you can see here, he says, My name is Cletus Cassidy, and I kill people, and I love it. I know nine million ways to kill a body, and I love every single one of them. When I s sleep, I dream of ways to kill a body that ain't nobody thought of yet. And occasionally, I dream of mom and pop squirting to a sink. And that old garbage disposal just grinding and gnawing on old man's skull. So yeah, he is completely off the rails. Killing and murdering and maiming is all what he thinks about, right? And uh, this imagery is so gruesome. Also talked away that when he shared the cell with Venom, that Venom, or you know, infected him, and then he became uh, Carnage. So the doctor says. Tell me about yourself. And all I get is that he kills and that he is carnished. Is he really that shallow? Is he really that simple? Possibly. No one said that psychopaths have to have a riveting personality in the doctorate. Perhaps Cassidy works solely off his back brain, his most primitive mental equipment. Perhaps he is, in his final analysis, just an animal. Maybe he was just born evil. Well, this is nothing new. Cassidy said it all before. True, but we've never gotten it out him of him so quickly. All right. Um, but then something happens. Why do you kill, he says. It's pretty. Wake him up in the morning knowing you're going to kill someone. It's a beautiful thing. It makes me feel like a gunship. Like my inch is only turning over when I'm moving and killing. It makes me feel like God on the first Monday morning. So, and then he goes off, you know, about, you know, his fantasies, right? Um, and uh, the imagery is going insane too. I ain't inspired by media. I inspire the media. I got video games and toys and comic books just because I can kill a body ben better than anyone. You wouldn't believe the hundreds of different ways a body dances on a bullet been put in it. The songs they sing when you cut their throats. The patterns they paint when you make them squirm. It's art. I kill because it's pretty. It's art. Uh. <laughs> so he sees an aesthetic in murder. His killing is not an idle thing. To him, each single death is an achievement. Incredible. It's riveting, like watching a car crash. He's never spoken so long, so lovingly, and so detailed and personal a way about his life, his reasons. 
One more sharp question, and I could tear his whole world down, stamp on it, rebuild it any way I like. How do you see the world? How do I see the world? Let me show you how I see the world. So the plant goes haywire because it seems that a, a vitamin C doesn't stay in his body. And because of the adrenaline that class, uh, the Cletus has in his body, so it flushed out of his system and now, well, carnage is whole again, right? And, um, and they aren't too connected. I'm going to squid bits of my mind down to your line here into yours. Show you what I think of the world. Uh-oh. So then we see this image and then Venom rips that image apart. I am that man eating human sandwiches at the bus stop, making Jeffrey Dahmer's eyes at the nice young boys. John Wayne Gacy hands are twitching. I am those kids, burning dogs and hobos in the dark alleyway. The wife showing broken, shoving broken glass in the husband's throats. I am the American flag of, on fire. The founding father crucified for the chat show. Lies, cursed and lies and government. I am the end of the world as we know it. And I feel like a drink. <laughs> okay. So this is, like I said, way over the top telling how insane some people is and, you know like i said the comparison of the joker is really there but not even joker is going off this end um like um cassidy does you know because killing is basically in his dna he is chaos just like joker but joker is more pure chaos while cletus cassidy is way more than that he is well not only a murder he is utterly insane just like joker but Maybe that dialed up to 11, like I said before. Authorized lethal force. I am the boy with the gun and a head full of crack and a suddenly desperate need to just kill something. I am chaos, Mr. Kurtz. Chaos and the rest of the world won't admit that it's just like me. And because of that world is worthless, it's dirt on my heel. Love mean nothing. It's a planet of mannequins filled with blood and they may be torn up and burst and stamped on because what else are they good for? So, and he goes on and on a little bit like that more while um, Kurtz is, you know, also going insane here, as you can see. And he says, everything is sick and I love it. Uh, so, yeah, he's basically ridding Kurtz of sanity here with whatever he's doing. Maybe he's just infecting him in with his insanity. I mean, that's the guess I'm... I have. So the door opens. Kurtz comes in naked, attacks the guards, eating their faces. And he says, he's eating me. <laughs> and he also kills another guard by, I don't know, uses his finger tearing into his throat and going completely insane. Well, Cassidy is still looking, doing nothing, not escaping, just sitting there. Right. Uh, the guards had enough. And he says, to hell with this. Get that sealed door Sealed. Get that cell door sealed. I'll kill you. I'll kill you and eat you. Show you chaos from the inside. And then, well, the guys just shoot him and basically kill Kurtz. And um, Cassidy says, your boy there, he wasn't mad. I'm not mad. I just give him a bit of the old therapy you love giving me. I showed him the real world. Showed him chaos. And he went sane. Just shooting him. That's a no kind of answer. You can't shoot chaos. And you can't keep it locked up for long. And that's the end of the book. So what do I think about it? It's, you know, one of those books that is pretty meaningless, but it's, it's here for shock value. Um, so is it good? Well, no, but it's more interesting what lies behind Carnage because we are know now who he is. But, you know, back in the day, it was all a mystery, right? To a certain degree. I mean, we, we already knew that, that Carnage was, um, well, Cletus Cassidy was an insane murderer. And Carnage just enhances that murderous side of him into, uh, you know, into oblivion. And uh, we see a little bit more behind the scenes. It was expected. It's going into this one, which is going a little bit deeper into the psyche of Carnage um, himself, right? And there is a lot of things 
going wrong here, um, as you can see, but I'm not going to spoil that. This uh, book will be reviewed um, on another day. So, guys, let me know what you think about this. Is this something that you are interested in? Did you read it? What do you think of Carnage itself? Leave a comment below and all that jazz. See you next time. Bye-bye.